nebulous term which sometimes get clubbed with natural or fresh which sometimes get hard to define. We at Future Market Insights define clean label as clean label foods use wholesome and real ingredients, ingredients that can be easily recognized by the consumers and the learners, which means there are no artificial ingredients and no big chemical name. According to the recent study done, which shows consumers lean mostly towards clean label, they try to purchase foods from the categories such as baby foods, conventional meats and poultry. However, plant-based meat and plant-based milks are not bad in the rest. In these kind of categories, demand is a must and it's very essential. In these kind of categories, consumers try to see claims such as no preservatives, zero preservatives, minimally processed and no artificial ingredients. what Suraj said. So, what is the consumer base for the clean label products? The consumer base for clean label products are the baby boomers, millennials, generation X. So, this covers all the population and entire population is the consumer base for clean label products. Mostly, consumers prefer to avoid corn, syrup, artificial additives, then artificial sweeteners, GMO, process and so on. Even though clean label trend is growing, it is a challenge for plant-based industry. And additionally, plant-based is known to be super processed with all kinds of additives, artificial sweeteners, coloring agents, etc. Additionally, it is a challenge that plant-based meat is seen as fake meat or artificial meat by the consumers. And some countries are thinking of setting up restrictions and regulations to ban the certain terminologies used by the retailers such as plant-based sauces, vegan sauces, vegan nuggets, etc. So Kunal, there is an overall movement to shift from soy to pea protein for plant-based owing to the allergic properties of the soil and if at all soy has to be used, it can be used by removing hexane during its extraction process which can be used by the manufacturers to create a clean level product. So, a lot of additives in the plant-based food to get desired texture and taste like the conventional one. So, recently methyl cellulose came under fire which uh, methyl cellulose is used as a gelling agent and emulsifier. So, many, uh, many companies or ingredient manufacturers are focusing on developing the bio-based uh, solutions for the methyl cellulose. Also, replace your GMO sugar with non-GMO sugar derived from cane. So, pulse protein can be utilized as, uh, as natural uh, stabilizers instead of artificial ones. So, the solution also lies in the food innovation as artificial intelligence is emerging as an uh, efficient tool for uh, helping and finding out natural and uh, naturally sourced ingredients. In fact, some of these solutions we also discussed in our latest published report on clean level ingredients about the major ingredients, their demand analysis, their uh, application area. The link of this report you can find in the description of this video. We have been discussing about the demand for clean label, but there is a negative side to it. So, for instance, the American Heart Association has said that clean label doesn't necessarily mean that it is healthy because such products can be still loaded with sugars, salts, and fats. As manufacturers are scared fortifying their food with vitamins and minerals because they have very chemical sounding names, and by recently conducted research, we have seen that. The fortification of food with vitamins and minerals and has gone down and this can negatively affect the consumer's health. And of course, Kunal, the prices of the product are going up and up as long as we are including more and more organic and natural ingredients. So, are consumers willing to pay more? Well, willingness to pay more is of course hard and many surveys will also tell you the same. However, in reality, is it happening? Well, that's a different story altogether. According to the recent survey done by Kerry, in US, households with earnings more than $100,000 are willing to buy clean level products or willing to pay a higher amount for clean level products. How many people can afford that? Uh, certainly, to conclude students, 
the clean label products have long way to go. However, we will have to watch clean label products in plant-based industry closely because there are multiple innovations happening in the industry.